Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time right here, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Uh, not to state the obvious, but just an absolutely crazy one today. Uh, a, a lot of volatility, and you know when all the dust had settled, a good solid overall day. Although again, each one of these represents 30 minutes. I bring that up because you can see during the final portion of the day, uh, you know there was were some sellers that showed up, but by no means would I call this a crash or anything like that. It just pulled back, but I did, did want to note seems to be some sellers that had shown up. But let's map out some levels of support and resistance. And really, in my mind, I see kind of like three stair steps. So the first stair step. And this would be the best case stair step or support is, meaning, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above $11, that would by far be you know, the best case scenario. But by no means am I saying that if the price falls below 11, that everything's ruined or anything like that. Next level of support, I would keep an eye on is down there at about $9.85. And then kind of the, the final quote unquote stair step here would be down there at that point, And that sits at $6.75. And that's just essentially, you know, if you eat, take each one of those lines, I mean, stair steps working their way upward. So those are gonna be the three main levels of support to keep an eye on. But for the fun, now for the fun stuff, what about levels of resistance? So where are some of these potential battlegrounds at uh, if the price is gonna continue upwards? And yeah, the bulls are gonna have to fight through these areas. So let's locate some areas of resistance. Initial area of resistance, just gonna call right up. I realize the price technically got a little bit higher than this, but I'm gonna call it there at $14.50. And then the next one after that, actually gonna need to go to the daily time frame here. Look, these are some lines from old times when I did the chart. Let me just get those off of there. There we go. After $14.50, I realize it's kinda hard to see right now, but that's just because we're having to go back so far in the charts history. After 14.50, next key level up there at about 19. So this thing's got some, some room to move if the momentum stays strong. And that's really the big question going into, uh, you know, tomorrow and the remainder of, or I should say, and then next week is can this you know, momentum stay strong? By no means am I saying resistance levels have to be broken tomorrow, but at this point, it's all about going through some healthy consolidations, healthy consolidations being defined as just maintaining above those sports, building higher bases. So we'll see if the bulls can do it or not. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.